treated roads. And now it's on with Motormouth. Big plate of Christmas fare, Mr. Sidebottom. Bon appetit. Well, I've had six plates of this already. I'll palm it off on somebody else because I've got to watch my showbiz figure. Oh, you know? all right then. Okay, Julia, I've got a mime for oh, you. Oh, good, I love Christmas games. What's this? Oh, Shaggy, you've just seen the ghost. No, Frank Sidebottom having chronic indigestion after he eats that plate of lard Tis you just gave him. Tis the season to be jolly, Paul. Tis the season to watch what you're eating. Don't teach your grandmother to suck eggs. I look after myself. I eat very healthily, thank you. Yeah, and you should be setting an example, not giving people plates of buns and sausages. I, I hate it, but you're right. OK, we'll make a special effort to keep a check on everyone's cholesterol intake over the festive period. Ah. Uh -uh. mm. I suggest we do that we go straight into the lounge and have a nice cup of tea and we can okay. tell me all about New York. Yeah. Baldy! Well, I'll see you in a sec. OK, I'll make it. Finish that off, Farnas, mate. Well, well, I've got what's to watch the, matter the with it? figure, you know what I mean? Oh, God, how ridiculous. This looks lovely. Mmm. Oh, here we are. I think this is... Uh, oh, right. God, isn't he stupid? Forget... How's oh. Danish? You all right? Oh, she's absolutely fine. In fact, I've got the pleasure of looking after her myself today. The pleasure? Oh, mm. I didn't know she was your type. Oh, yes, I suppose she's sort of small and dark. No, I prefer taller, blonder women. Oh, I'm pleased to hear it. You mean my tie, okay, Max? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, Miss Elder the Great shall perform her greatest trick. She waves the magic wand. Whoosh, she says the magic words, which are... Whoosh. Fancy a donut. No, it's not fancy a donut, Max. It's whizzy wazzock. Blimey, it's magic. Now, hang on a minute. If you're mucking around... No, Max, I'm not. I'm prepared. With the head of the magic circles coming in, you've got to be good. Yes, I am going to be good, Max. Watch my trick. Look, you place the rope into the container. Tip the... Co oh, oh, Max! You stupid girl. Look, the bull's okay, on the floor. It's a bust. Can't you do an easy trick? What's this one? And what's one, that? two, to the right, two, two three, two, three, to the left, two, two three, and up and up and feel that burn. What on earth are you doing? This is our special pre-Christmas Christmas fitness routine. Fitness at Christmas? How insensitive. Christmas is a time to celebrate the bounty Mother Nature has to offer, and I find the best way of doing that is to eat yourself into a stupor on Christmas Day. So why have you been doing it since October? Well, that's that's simply just to get that extra layer of fat for, for, for my winter warmth. At your age, Max, it's important to stay trim. Oh, no magicians! You're not answering your door to any magicians until you've perfected that trick. I'll you know, get it. It's going to take more than a magic wand to make that tummy tire disappear. I do not have a tummy tire. You know, Danny, it's such a shame more people don't appreciate the simple, honest goodness of the common carrot. Well, if more people ate healthy, they'd be yeah. a lot better off. Exactly. Mmm. Bunch of donut, Danny. Oh, no, thank you. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Maxwell, that plate was full a minute ago. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh. If he keeps eating that kind of food at that rate, he's going to get seriously ill. Do you think so? Yeah, well, it looks like he's put on a bit of weight since last time yeah. I saw him. Now you mention it, actually, he has been getting a bit breathless on our hill-walking trips. Well, just keep an eye out for him because, you know, you don't want him to get sick. No. Oh, brilliant! I'm, I'm so glad you're here. You'll never know. <laughs> Are those cakes? Yeah. Max, yes. Max, let me help you. I'll take them. No, they're cakes. No, I'll, I'll take them. I'll take them. Sorry, Max. I didn't mean to punch your paunch. I do not have a paunch. Walk this way. Don't stop. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, oh yeah. very good. Oh, yeah. Come on, Max. Yeah. Exercise. Excuse me, I don't want you too sweaty for your item. Get into the dressing rooms immediately. Changing the habits of a lifetime is going to take longer than we thought. Oh. Do you know, mm, I almost prefer it raw. <laughs> Half the cakes I make at home, they never see it to the oven. Oh, no. Isn't it horrifying to think that only minutes ago this lounge was a sweaty exercise parlour? I don't know what's got into everybody today. Well, I don't know, Max. You know, we both feel that health and fitness is really important. But you're cake makers. Yeah, but, I mean, even we work out, you know. I mean, and we're coming up with a good Christmas pudding recipe that's low-fat. Ugh. See, the thing about Max is he has a classic endomorphic personality. Endomorphic? You know, he's a settee swede. Oh, right, you mean couch potato, <laughs> Paul. Yeah, and he's got to undergo a fundamental attitude adjustment. That's as likely as Mr Buchanan forgetting to blow dry his hair. Excuse me. Wizzy, wazzic, blimey, it's magic! Thank you. Oh. You see, he's so stuck in his ways. I mean, there's just no chance he'll go anywhere near a gym. Yeah, but I've got the answer to that. I found this book, An Englishman's Home is His Gym. Oh. It tells you how to take ordinary household objects and use them for a workout. Like, 
Take this chair, for example. Mm -hmm. I mean, Max would just think of it as something to sit on to make his butt even wider. Come on, Paul, he's not overweight. He's just unfit. Yeah, but I'm talking about future. And Max's future is wide load, you know, with motorcycle outriders. This is good. I'm gonna give it to him for Christmas. No, give it to him now. Yeah, and then we can watch him burn himself down. Paul, they want him to work out, not check out. Yes, to luck. I mean, I've just because... never really had much cause to think about my health before. I'm, I'm fit enough easily to carry out my daily duties. Oh, now, come on. I mean, drinking tea and eating buns all day isn't exactly strenuous, is it, Thank now, you. Max? I don't mean to be personal, Max, but at your age, you really ought to eat a balanced diet or you're going to make yourself ill. Ill? Hmm. I don't think I've got time to stand here being lectured by you. You're on in a minute after mouse trap. I'd oh. go and get ready. Oh. Yes, okay. bye. All right, bye. 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 Oh. Ill? Yes, 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 they won the mountain bikes. A very festive mousetrap next week. But now for some festive cooking with Greg and Max. You might remember them, they were on a few weeks ago with Andy. They're getting a bit of a surprise. So, um, we'll yeah. have a slice of cake later. Any chance of a cup of tea to go with me cake? Mm, well, I guess you could, yeah, have a cup of tea out of there. That's fine. Sounds perfectly mild, don't you? <laughs> Little drink of the cup of tea and, uh... Oh. <laughs> Told you it was all edible, didn't I? Oh, well, yeah, well, gentlemen, that's thank that's you. That's <laughs> it looked painful, but it was only sugar, wasn't it? It, it, was, it, was, it didn't break his teeth. No. Now, what have you got for us this week, then? Well, we've got some inedible things and some edible things. Oh, inedible and edible. Right, right. So, what, what edible stuff have you got, then? Well, this is all the edible stuff here. Yeah. Now, what we thought, this is to put on your cream, really tree. On, on your tree, <laughs> not your cream, your tree. Yeah? <laughs> that, too. <laughs> I've really glitzed it up, and we've made some parcels here out of doilies. I hate doilies, but this yeah, is a no. really good way to use them. Right. So we've tied them up with ribbon. We've got chocolate almonds in here. We've got chocolate raisins, little coins, anything you see in the sweet shop, it really makes them look good and it doesn't cost much either. We've got bits and pieces over here. Yeah, we've got some threaded popcorn, yeah. gingerbread men. Oh, you made those yourself, did you? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. And, so, they, and they can just go on your tree before Christmas? Yeah? That's well, right. Yes, they'll be perfectly safe over Christmas. They won't go off at all. So you can eat them right after Christmas Day? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right, that's okay. not bad. So we've got the edible ones. So, uh, lads, we've got my little chefettes yep. here. We've got chefettes. Right, Darren and Do you want to go and stick those on the tree? There you go, chaps. Thanks. All right. That's, that's okay. not bad. Right. Now, so, so what are these then? Okay, well, these decorations are the inedible ones. Now, they're made out of a very simple dough, and this whole tray full would cost you about 50p to make. Oh, that's not bad. So, we, we could actually make some of those. Well, yeah, we are going right. to make some, actually. We're going to make yep. some now. So, right. what, are, what are the ingredients for them? The ingredients couldn't be simpler. You've got eight ounces of plain flour, yeah. that's wheat flour, yeah. four ounces of salt, and six mm. fluid ounces of lukewarm water. So, it's... Mix it all together. It's salt, not sugar? Yeah, because you don't want it to be sticky, and the salt helps it dry hard. Great. Right. So, mix right. it together, and then knead it till it's like this. And so this is what done. you get. Now, you feel that. That's wonderful. Oh, so it's really it. sort of good for sweeting, isn't it? <laughs> I remember when he's back at school, he used to make data. That's it even smells Sniff like it. it. I know. <laughs> so what do I do with it then, apart from just having good fun? Right. <laughs> give it a bit here. We'll, we'll take a bit off there yeah. now. We're going to get you to do this. We've got a bit of flour to stop it from sticking. Roll that out a bit. Uh, I know. All right. I, ate all, I ate all of this. Yeah, no, you'll be great. It, it all Can sticks. You, so you just that's it. Turn right. it over. It. That's Lay right. it down again. Yeah. Brilliant. Just, just roll it out. All right, that's fine. Like that. yeah. Now, we've made a template just out of some card here of a star shape. That now, looks we fairly to... easy, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So, why don't you cut that out with the knife? Okay. Now, I've got a knife here, so you have to be very careful because knives it. are sharp. That's yep. the warning there. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's cut great. that like that. Now, now, you can make all sorts of different shapes apart from stars, can't you? Yeah, okay. I mean, you can use templates or you can use cotters, biscuit cotters, whatever you want. Okay. But over on the other tray here, we've got a selection of things that are more moulded. For example, in the centre there, we've got a little child looking out of a window with the curtains blown back. Yeah, you don't do that on your first time, though, do you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> that's, your that's your second. All oh, right. That's right. <laughs> easily, easily. We had an idea, too. We found some little mirrors and we've made some frames for the mirrors. Yeah. And you can then paint those, which we'll be talking about later, and they look brilliant. They cost a fortune if you bought them. Right. Well, I'm, I'm doing I'm, really I'm almost, well. I'm here. almost there. I'm yeah. almost shaking start. well. I, 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 I'm, I'm not like Neil or Andy. I shake a lot when I do telly. Brilliant. Tell you, right. So there you go. Great stuff. There I've got a, got a shape here. Look, you see, yeah. they're coming off fairly Excellent. easily. Excellent. Right. Oh, now for a first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let yeah, me yeah. just. There. there. Can everyone see that? I think that's brilliant. Oh well, thank you very much. Right. Well, it's not going to go. It won't go on the tree like that, though, does it? it needs no. A, well, what we'll no, do... there you go. All right. right. Use a paper clip yeah. and just pop it into the dough there so it doesn't stick out the back. It's just all the way through there, OK? And then when you come to hang it on your tree, you've got something to hang, hang, hang it on there with. That won't, that won't fall out, then? No. Nope. Right, so what do I do with it then? OK, when you've made all the decorations that you want, you put them on a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper. Right. And at the end of the day, when you've all finished using the cooker, you, you set that very low, about 75 degrees centigrade, which is about 108 degrees Fahrenheit, very, very low. Sort of tick over, really. Absolutely, right. yeah. 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 And you put them in the oven before you go to bed and leave them till breakfast time, about 12 hours, because they're just going to dry out and become very hard, which is what you want. So, so they, what, they look like, they look like and this And they look like you? that. Absolutely. Which uh, actually looks and feels a bit like a biscuit. Well, why yes, don't you... Uh, 
No. 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 It's not. Probably not. So these are definitely inedible. Absolutely. <laughs> right, what, what do you do with right, it? Right, now, it the next stage is we've got some poster colours here. Mm -hmm. You can use any watercolour paints. They're brilliant because these are really bright. And I'm just going to show painting there ever so quickly. I mean, this really doesn't take too much time at all. And just to, to give you an easy idea. Then, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yes, absolutely. Sure. Using as much no colour problem. as you want. And then leave that to dry overnight. Make sure that it's completely dry before you hang it on the tree. So the poster paints are sort of the stuff that you get at school. It's the water. That's the water right. Based one. So That's it's, right. That's it's it. It's perfectly safe, isn't yep. it? Yep. So yep. when you finish with that, you dry it out, and then it should look... <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> yes. Something I've like this. Won't look like this. So from the from the start, you can move on to something like this tree. That's that's like the no. next stage because it's dead simple, except that we've added the little baubles and the tinsel around here. That, that's fairly simple. Then what about what about this here? This one here. OK, well, that's very simple. That's just using a, a leaf cutter that you might find in ordinary cake decorating shops so that you use that to cut out the shapes and build up the flower there. So, now, this one looks like it's, it's been moulded. Now, that, that is so simple. We collect these little moulds here, and if you can see in the bottom there, the patterns that you get, you just put the dough in there, take it out, and you've already got a shape in there, and it's already done for you. Now, the easiest stuff must be, must be these things. Oh, here, they're my favourite. Because they just stick stuff on top of those. That's right. It? Couldn't be simpler. And I think the best one... It looks like... <laughs> the She's gone. She's, She's gone. very good, isn't she? How do you do her hair? Well, the hair's terribly simple. You just put a piece of dough in a garlic press yeah. and crush it through, and the hair automatically comes out at the other end. All right, well, with a bit of work, maybe I could look like... <laughs> I might look like this. I know they wouldn't. <laughs> when you've got them, you can keep them for a long time, can't you? Yes, yes you can. they last for, for years. If but you're how, careful how do you with store them? them then? Just in an ordinary box in, uh, in tissue paper. Keep them in a warm place, like an airing cupboard. All right, well, so you don't, don't put them in the bath? Shouldn't no. <laughs> no. All right, no, that's, that's, that's our Christmas decorations. I hope you're going to make some too. That's, thanks for coming on. Hope we'll Thank see you, you again after Christmas, you. perhaps. Thank you for coming on. Um, maybe you should have a go at this. Ah, Mr. Burglass. Hello. Welcome to Motormouth. Do Thank come you. in. If you'd like to sign your name in the oh, visitor's Christ. book. Sure. Um, I'm not actually looking after you today. I seem no. to be doing everyone right. else's jobs as well as my own. Uh, Millie Bates is. So um, when you've done that, if you'd like to come through, I'll show you where she is. Right. OK, this way, please. Oh, dear. That was horrible. Oh, wasn't it? How did it go? Well, at the beginning... Good. Was... Listen, I've been thinking about what you were saying about, you know, diet and getting ill and everything, and yeah. I do actually feel a bit, a bit strange. Oh, I want you to tell me what it is exactly that I should eat to have a healthy diet. OK, well, look, you should be trying to get some carbohydrates, carbohydrates. plenty of roughage. roughage... And lots and lots of protein. Lots and lots of... Yeah. Oh, thanks. All right. OK. I'll change my diet. All, All right, right, I'll get Millie to bring you a cup of tea. OK, okay. Bye. See you later. Oh, what's in there? Edible insects. Ugh! Who would put insects in their gob? Well, apparently they've got carbohydrates, roughage, and they're really, really high on protein. Oh. Help yourself. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. That goes in there. Wow. Hey, Preston, <laughs> This is Mr. Burglass. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Hello. Pie McLeod. Burglass. So this is Millie Bates. We'll be looking after you today. <gasps> right. Now, I'm terribly behind Millie, so I'll leave you with Mr. Burglass. No, Juliet, could you stay a bit more behind? I'd like you to uh, watch my trick. Oh, <clears> Millie, <throat> don't tell me you're going to attempt prestidigitation. No, I'm going to make Alan disappear in front of your very eyes. OK, okay I place Alan in the top hat. Wizzy Wazzick, blimey, it's magic. Really David, would you, would you like to get Alan out? Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh. That is marvellous. I bet you can't get him back. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Wizzy Wazzick, blimey, it's magic. Ah. Well. Alan. I think you were Alan. right. So, a uh, child of four could probably do this trick, couldn't they? I tell you, I wish we had a child of four here now to yes, do Yes, so do I. So your position as head of the magic circle <laughs> isn't threatened. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, I look all right. What is... Delighted pupils. Uh, my tongue's a bit furry. Oh no, hairy nostrils. Oh, my abdomen's all distended. Uh, I'm sure I've got something. What is it? I've got middle smirts. Uh, hallucinations. Lovely. Fabulous. Brilliant. Uh, Max, I am worried about you. So am I. I've just seen a white rabbit in the first aid tin. You didn't eat it, did you? Are you mad? Of course I didn't eat it. Because it was probably Alan, Millie's magic trick. Millie? Alan? Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought I was losing my mind. It's not your mind. You should be worrying about it. It's your body. 
What do you mean? Oh, come on, Maxwell, your lifestyle. You eat too much sugar and carbohydrate and you don't get enough exercise. Oh, that's not fair. Now, you of all people should know how much exercise I get. What about all those long hill walks They we are do? short walks that take a long time because you have to stop at every tea shop you see. But the scones beckon. Remember our walks on the moors? Bronte country, all those Emilia Clares. And the Cathy Snaps. Heathcliff humbugs. Do you know I've still got half a pound of those in my larder? Well, throw them away. You have a responsibility to yourself. You must look after your heart. My ticker. Otherwise you'll be climbing that Big Ben Nevis in the sky. So much to do, so little time. Look, Juliet, everyone's been on about this today to mm -hmm. me. And I've given it some serious thought. Good. And from now on, I can assure you, you're going to see a new, fitter Max. Oh, I'm so glad. You're a very sensitive woman. Well, we all care, Max. Oh, here you go, Fatso. The life you saved could be your own. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Don't get fat before you're old. Don't, don't get, get fat before, before you're old. Shake that loose fat, fat, tight butt. No, no good. One, two, three, three four. four. OK, fall out. Oh. I said fall out, not fall over. Oh, Max, this is ridiculous. We're supposed to be doing a television program, not so. All this exercise was your idea, if you remember, and don't worry about the studio. As we discussed, it is all in Millie's capable hands. Well, how come Millie gets to be the lucky one? Yeah. Don't worry about her. She won't escape my exercise regime. Fall in! Uh -huh. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't, I don't know, know, but I've been told. See, David, I've always quite fancied being sewn in half. Well, that can be arranged. Uh, which way would you like it? Sideways, lengthways? We can do all sorts of things. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> do you want to come through to the studio? Come on, Millie, don't hang around. Maxie wants you in the lounge. I'd like to go into the studio now, David. Sorry about that. And good Thank luck you. with your tricks. Thank you very I'll much. I'll see you later on. All right. Hi, David. Melly, chocolate cover dance. Thanks, Neil. Ugh. Oh, brilliant. Can I have one? No. No. Oh. no. Why not have some of those? Yeah. Ugh, no chance. <laughs> I'll put these in the fridge. Well, when can I have one? Well, Christmas? Well, Christmas well, Eve? When? Yeah, you'll have to wait until Christmas Eve, and then only one. Oh, all right, then. OK. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, we've got some things to sort out now, so yeah. we'll be off. All okay. right, well, I won't have one. No. All right. All right, I won't eat one. You'll leave it alone, Yeah, see you, you later, okay. I won't Bye. eat one. Bye. 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 of sticky comestible straight into the bin. Up, 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 up. Okay, fall in. Right, we'll start our exercise pattern with some jumping jacks. After one. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, team, good spirit. Now we are going to try some belly sit-ups. Oh. Grab the legs of these women. I beg your pardon. No. Okay, and hop. One, uh, one, two, let's go! Hop, Pathetic uh, attempt, uh, press-ups. Hop, 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 don't do uh, press-ups, Max. They do today. Oh, Come on, 50 press-ups. And hop. Oh, Come on, you oh, scrawny little worm. Yeah. Put your back into it. Oh, right. Oh, I want 50 press-ups. Oh, and I am going to go and plan our route for the jog up the downs. Hop, oh, hop, oh, hop, 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 hop. I can't. I believe we got him started on Oh, this. trust Max to take everything three steps too far. Well, I can't cope. Something's got to be done. Oh. <sighs> Here you are. Yes, One. chocolate raisin. Oh, thank you. They're absolutely perfect. And they're just the right size. Well, what exactly do you want them for? Oh, no special raisin? Oh, oh here you are, Greg dear. Max. The magic's just about to begin. I know you wanted oh, to see oh, it. Oh, lovely. Just okay. about to happen. Later. By the way, what's Max doing press-ups in the corridor for? Oh, don't worry about him, Gabby. He's just on a fitness binge. Or clinically oh. insane. Or both. OK, get the hands. Look, I'm really not sure about this, Paul. It'll work out perfectly. Yes, <gasps> they're exactly the same. No, but come on, be fair. Poor old Max. Yeah, you're right. I guess we should let him take us for that 20-mile run this afternoon. <sighs> Let's do it. Thank you. Ah, so listen, will you come on out? Because we've got to set up for a big showbiz number, you know. I have no intention of helping you promote your CD Christmas record. I don't even like you. What's so important you can't help me? It's not important, this. I have a surprise waiting for me in the lounge to which you're not invited. Oh, right. Consider yourself off my Christmas card list, spud face. So, if I've got this straight, 
We are going to be giving Max dried, dead, chewy, crunchy ants with real blood and guts inside. No, no, no. It's much more subtle than that. We are going to tell Max that chocolate-covered ants are the preferred fitness food of Olympic decathletes. And if he doesn't eat a whole, f whole handful of them, he's not serious about fitness, and he's got no reason to boss us around. Well, that's all well and good, Paul, and I understand, but what if Max takes a handful of the dry, dead, chewy, crunchy, dead ants with real blood and guts inside and puts it in his mouth? Well, even if he does Which that... Which he won't. We're only going to be giving him chocolate-covered raisins. Right. OK, OK, get Max. Switch the flags over. Switch the flags over. Come with me, Max. <coughs> Max, we are so impressed with how serious you are about fitness. We've got you a special athletic treat. This is especially for you from David Manning. They're a rare delicacy. They're chocolate-covered ants. They have 80% protein, zero carbohydrate, and um, 2.5 calories per thorax. So if you want to be really fit, you should eat a handful of them. Well, I would eat them, of course, but you see, they're covered in chocolate and I'm operating on a no-chocolate policy. Oh, but Max, you see, it's the combination of the chocolate and the ant that makes it the perfect health food for Mr Fitness. Well, I guess Max isn't serious oh. about fitness, so I guess that run this afternoon is ah. off. Eat some blah. What have you had to eat? Ants. Well, You've eaten some ants? Yeah. That's disgusting. I know. Why? They made me. Who made you? Them. Why? Well, because they said I was a fat lump and then I had to get fit and they made me. Blah. Oh, d Max, that's ridiculous. You're not a fat lump. I like you Am just the way you are. They're such really? ants. That's revolting. Oh, thank you, Gabby. No, How kind good. you are. Thank you. I can't believe you ate them. I can't believe it. Well, it was almost worth it just to see his face. No, it wasn't. We're still going to go on that run. Yeah. Oh. You look really nice, aren't you? He's absolutely green around the gills there, not feeling very well. He's great just the way he is, and... Ants! Give him ants! Now I'm really ashamed. Me. What have we done? Look, come on, all we did was give him some chocolate raisins to eat. Yeah, but you heard what Gabby said. It's had a psychosomatic effect on the poor man. I'm going to tell him it was a trick. And I'm going to get Max a present to say how very sorry I am. Honest. Yeah, I think we've got it. Millie, we're off. Oh, okay. I'll show you out. See all you right. Bye bye. See you guys. Bye. See you Thanks soon. a lot. Bye. Honestly, I don't know what all the fuss is about. You play a practical joke on somebody and you have to call the Humane Society. It's just Paul, ridiculous. Paul, look what Max and Greg have given me. I'm going to keep this and put a present in it for Max. Good. Paul! You know, I don't know what the fuss is about. These chocolate raisins are delicious. I promise you, Max. I promise. Do you mean to tell me that those that I ate were, in fact, chocolate covered raisins? Yes. Prove it. Right. The one with the flag in is really the chocolates, and the one without the flag is really the ants. Oh, yes. Yes. And as for you... Max, I would just like to say how very, very sorry I am. I am so... And to prove my sorriness, I've made you a special box full of goodies for Christmas. Oh, Millie, you should have. I've had a horrible day. And, in fact, if it wasn't for Gabby, I'd be a very depressed man. Yeah, but you didn't have Gabby out there running round and round the studio, yeah. did you? Yeah. No need. She's fit as a fiddle. I must say, Millie, it was jolly sporting of you to get Max a present. Yeah, well, I didn't go out and buy anything. What did you put in the box, then? I just put the chocolate raisins in there. Oh. Well, what happened to the chocolate-covered ants? Paul, the chocolate-covered ants were in there. No, the chocolate-covered ants were in the bowl marked ants. I switched the flags back. <laughs> Max, yes. Max, Max, yes. have you eaten them? Have yes. you eaten them? You haven't eaten them, have you? No. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Sorry. Um, the box. Could I, um, could I borrow it for a second, please? Um, right. Sorry. It's just the thing is, because Gabby had been so sweet to me all yeah. day, I, um, I, I gave it to her as a gift. Oh. Nice, aren't we? Oh, oh, sorry. I put it around. Yes, as I said, sorry, I'm forgetting everything this morning. The man...